Ladies and gentlemen, Decipher are in the building. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yes. This is going to get a little tricky to pull off with everybody on a different camera, but I'm going to do my best. Uh, if you could, for those that may not know who you are, sir, can you please introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are and plug and promote anything and everything. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, everybody called me uh, Huggy Bear. Uh, we finally meet now. It's nice to meet you, sir. Uh, I'm with the drummer for Decipher. You can check us out at Decipher916. Um, yeah. Juan's in here somewhere. I see I see Man. Juan, Lana. It says Lana, Faith, and Juan. That's what hey, Can y'all hear me? That's what it's yeah, we can hear you on. We just can't see you. Oh man. I can't see myself. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm not I'm not good with this technology stuff, brother. No worries. Uh so dude, we've been we've been jamming Decipher for a minute. We've been playing Vigilance, but this is the only one that we could find here on YouTube. Is there is there am I looking at the wrong place or is that just how uh, how the recordings have gone for you guys? Um that's as far as we've got right now. That's actually an older one that just we keep playing everybody loves that song um we're actually in the studio right now the guys will be there tomorrow finishing up vocals and guitar who are you in the studio with who's TV who's talk. the producer that you're going with uh joe from puss cavern or puss cavern okay cool hell yeah very very cool yeah, what, work with. is there is there a rough timetable for when the new recordings will be released i want to say maybe a month okay so not that far not that long at all yeah, no. Not oh, far yeah. at all. We'll have two to drop back, so it's going to be nice. You'll have two what? What would you say? I'm sorry? Back to back? Yeah, we'll have two songs back to back. Rudy Wasn't Able and then Age of Change. Hell yeah. Very, very cool. Uh, how long have you guys been together for? Oh, man. Uh, we we've known each other for, for a decade. Probably about Go a ahead, decade. Known each other. No, we've, we've known each other for about a decade. Um... We recently just got back together. I want to say about maybe about it was almost almost a year ago. Try to write write new songs and uh, get back out there. Uh, but I've known these guys uh, for at least a decade. So yeah, but we uh, you know off and on probably just been jamming with them here and there. Juan, what what got the band back together? Um, I, you know I kind of had to go do the whole father thing for a little bit. Um, I had to kind of go experience what that's like. And uh, I think all of us are, are, are there. Everybody in the band has kind of gone through that now. And I, I think that once 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 that kind of settled away and, and it's not that thing that everybody kind of like, oh, I'm about to be a father. I think now it's kind of like I think we're all in a position now to, you know, pursue pursue things. So you were you were you were feeling that itch again, that itch again to get back with the boys and, and jam and rock out and get sweaty and, and crowd surf yeah. and all that stuff. I mean, it, it it the it never really leaves you, you know. No matter where you're at in life, I think as uh, musicians, I think you know when you when you kind of you know you kind of like you said that itch, it it just never really goes away, no matter where you're at. And um, we are all pretty mature, good uh, good group of guys, and you know we all talked and said, yeah, you know, it's, uh, why don't we you know pursue this for a little bit and see see where it could go, you know. Hell yeah. My, uh, my co-host today is Metallic. Metallic, do you have a question for the fellas? Um, so, what kind of uh, musical inspiration do you guys uh, draw from? Ooh, we, it is so wide. Like, me personally, I, I come from a metal background. So, you got, like, Lamb of God, um, Hatebreed. Um, I mean, yeah, just keep going down that way for me. And then uh, Jason, our bass player, he's more of, uh, I'd say old school, but he's such an amazing bass player. Like old school metal or just like old school, like classic rock? Uh, he's he's classic a classic rock, rock guy. That's yeah. cool. Oh, yeah. he, he, comes from, he comes from a musical background where, I mean, his father was like this, like really, really like just amazing guitarist. 
Uh, he could play Stevie Ray Vaughan songs like back to back with his eyes closed. You know what I mean? And wow. Jason wow. kind of ended up taking the the bass duties. And when we found Jason, he was like he had this like complete this blues background that he brought to the table. You know, and I'm talking about like you know, like I said, Stevie Ray Vaughan, uh, ZZ Top, very very kind of very like you know influences that are way out there kind of from what we're doing but somehow it just it just manages to work you know i feel like those artists kind of like vicariously teach you like music theory because of how bluesy but some also like intricate they're like just quick solos and stuff go so it, it all it all matters and it all translates to metal very well um yeah. were you guys informed about hot sauce Hot sauce. I love hot yeah, sauce. Yeah. Ooh, hot sauce. Did you bring hot sauce? This is an important factor for me. Yeah, go grab some real quick. Before you do that, before you do, can you and Juan decide between a movie or TV show that you guys have seen so many times where if I ask you trivia on this, you will not get stumped? You already know what I watched. Well, what movie, what movie have you seen a million times? Little Mermaid. <laughs> really? The Little Mermaid. Juan, do you have you seen that movie a couple of times? Well, I'm your dad, so I imagine you have seen it a couple of times. Uh, I know. I, I, I've seen that when I was back in 1990. <laughs> so he's going to be in trouble. He's going to be in trouble. Go grab, go grab the hot sauce. Go grab the hot sauce real quick. I'll jam. I'll jam Vigilance and oh, while well, you go grab it. Awesome. I think we're going to get him. I think we're gonna stump him, Metallic. I, this will, this, I feel confident in this one. I think you got him. Now, Juan, is this the same producer that you guys are going that you're going to tomorrow that did this track? No, no, that was done at. Uh, oh, we can see you now, by the way. Oh man, I didn't even know. Like I said, this technology stuff is. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Handsome uh, lad, handsome lad. No, that that was uh, that was done at Fat Cat. Uh, top of there was it was a street Marconi Nick, uh, a guy named. Uh, Sean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Road, Sean. Sean from Fat Cat. Okay. Well, let's yeah. see if, if you have seen The Little Mermaid as many times as you think you have. Here we go. This is the first. It's very rare we get a Disney cartoon as the option of what our guest chooses. But here we go. In The Little Mermaid, I need the name of either one of Ariel's sisters. Oh. I had not even the slightest idea the answer to this one. My phone at. <laughs> I yeah. don't know. I know the fish's name is Flounder. What? Well, <laughs> it is Flounder. That is a stump. So enjoy the hot sauce. <laughs> enjoy the hot sauce. And uh, well, what, what hot sauce did you grab, by the way? Tapatio, it looks what? like. Yep, Tapatio. Good old fashioned. And um, yeah. some Cholua. Cool. Gentlemen, enjoy yeah, bottoms cool. up. <laughs> if, if all of a sudden. Uh, let's say all of a sudden a label comes along and it just offers you guys just Ubers and Ubers and Ubers amount of money, just more money than you than you need. You can take care of your family. You can buy all the all the musical gear you want, and there's still just absurd amount millions left over. What is just a fun toy you're gonna buy for yourself? Something that you've always wanted, but it was just not affordable. Mm. Honestly, I would give back to the community. I don't have really anything I want really honestly help out the homies says i like that yeah yeah i'm i'm, I'm a pretty easygoing guy man i don't i think uh 
I don't know. You know, that's a tough, tough question. I, I don't think I would really need to get anything that I don't already have. And, and it's not much, you know, but, you know. See, I once saw this movie called Richie Rich with Macaulay Culkin. And I was like, dude, I got to have like a crazy slide that goes from the top of my second floor or third floor into the pool. So like some and someday if I can afford like a badass custom house, I want a slide that goes through like rocks and stuff into a big ass pool. That's that's the dumb thing that probably costs like 200 grand for no reason. I would just waste money on. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's That'd cool. be sick though. That would be sick, man. After like a week, you're like, you're over it and you're like, oh, could have spent it on something else. Anyway, uh, have you guys ever thought about having like a big feature jump on a track just for like click reasons or anything? And if so, who have you considered? Hmm. Like if we had the money to go and get a feature? Yeah, sure. I, I, I mean, I, was, I, I, I like, I, I tend to really like, uh, uh, um, lady singers, female singers in, in rock. I think they bring that, that really dynamic, uh, that, you know, and I especially like bands that kind of mix the two, you know, sometimes, but I mean, uh, you know, like a, like a lady that screams like, like, a like Sydney's. from ginger or something like that, or more like hard rock. I just probably like the long line of rock. Yeah. Yeah. Be cool. Hell yeah. Uh, Metallic, go ahead and shoot off one more. I'm gonna give him a redemption question on The Little Mermaid. We'll go something a little easier. If you were to make a genre of music that would be completely, like, a weird genre for you to be in, what would it be? Ooh. Weird genre, huh? Like, to make one? Like, create mm -hmm. one? Or just be a yeah. part of one? That is a unique question. Yeah, it is. I'll take some techno, some metal, some jet, everything will throw together. Yeah, I mean, be kind of cool. I mean, Lots of you know, if there was, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I mean, you guys know. Uh, so I, 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 I was born in Mexico, so a lot of my upbringing was with Spanish music. If there was a way to do like uh, they're called corridos with rock. That'd be kind of a cool thing. I've it's, never even heard. That's a genre. I've never even heard of that genre. It's called Corridos. Hey, Rage Against the Machine Corridos. did a, a thing with Los Tigres del Norte, which is a very worldwide famous Spanish uh, Corridos band. Um, it's they, funny you say it. It's funny you say that because an EDM producer I know of named Adam Bomb did a Corrido uh, uh, yeah. EDM, EDM like dubstep yeah. song. Oh, it's it's that that genre for what it is for you know uh, for the Hispanic community is really just big right now, you know. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and, and and they're taking elements of like other genres and kind of even putting it in. And I, I'm not saying that it sounds great all the time, but it's it's a creative way. I mean, you know, to come with something new. Fair enough. Let's try this Little Mermaid trivia one more time. <laughs> this is an easier one. We stumped you on the first one. That's the goal. So I'll give you a second one to try to spin the wheel. All I need to know is what was the name of the chef? In the movie. Chef. Oh. What was the <laughs> name of the chef? Tough questions. In The Little Mermaid. Chef. You know, I'm just going to have to go back and watch the movie. Yeah. <laughs> double stump. He says double stump. It was Louis. Luis. Lou it, either Luis oh. or Louis. Uh, one or the other. But uh, um, it sounds like it makes sense. Yeah, it sounds about right. As I know he was French, right? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he's French. So enjoy the hot sauce one more time. So you guys said we only have a couple more minutes, but you guys said that uh, this you're going back in the studio tomorrow to finish the vocals, and then roughly a month, and we're getting back to back singles. Yeah, like, that is correct. That's what, we're, that's what we're trying to do. That's the that's the goal. That's the game plan. That is oh my god. That is awesome. Hell yeah. Well, please, please let us know when the music's ready. Please feed us. Send it to either me or Lizzie or, or whoever you can get a hold of on for regarding local band smoke. We'd love to jam it, show it off to our friends and, and tell some people about it. But fellas, this is a lot of fun, man. I appreciate you guys taking some time out of your day on the reschedule. I got food poisoning the day you were supposed to be on. And I apologize about that. But uh, you can't predict when those things are going to happen. That's only second to my food poison my whole life. And it took me out for like literally like almost 72 hours. It's not fun. Hey, take care. 
Okay. Yeah, take care of yourself, man. Thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Decipher Hell Yeah! yeah, hell yeah. Appreciate you guys. Please let me know when the music's ready. We want to jam it. <laughs>